Welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War 2. We are going to be uncovering a spy this time. The name of this operation is Chopping Tracker. Now, I wish I, I wish I knew what a chopping tracker is, but um, let's just not try to mince too many words and details there. So, uh, it looks like we're on top of the platform, which means we could probably probably dash forward. And um, even though even though kind of like we don't really need to, and it's probably not the safest thing to do, but uh, the best thing is is that since we're actually up there, we actually can because. Because we can kind of just see like beyond us and we know we're not really going to get any trouble while we're up here unless there's actually like another mob up there with us so um, so we can kind of just scoot ahead yeah, as needed so we've got we've got our technical our haven we need a technical on our last team but um oh well uh, at least we will be able to get Kate Kennedy back onto normal XCOM missions including our well hopefully future oh, yeah. supply rates but for now, we're, for now, in that particular supply rate, we'll have to just make deal with a grenadier. Now, I just want to see how big this map is. Okay, it looks like it's going to go for a while. So, and then, just trying to decide which side we should move towards to. Okay, so... So, I guess still towards out the middle, so we should still be... Uh, still kind of just like push forward, and then... Um, okay, looks like we're going to get... That's... Probably not the safest place to be. And you know what? I actually recognize this map. Why didn't why didn't I recognize this map last time? Oh well. Moving out. Could be worse. Could be much much worse. Um. Right. And at least with these kind of relatively easy missions, we should be able to kind of just like. No need to ask twice. I don't know. Just roll over them, I suppose. If that's if that's the way you want to say it. Designated position. But um. But otherwise, hopefully we'll be getting through this quickly, and then we can just jump straight into the next mission if possible. But then if not, that will probably be in a separate video. -ish. It's just one of those things that still just slightly bothers me in the sense that um, I'm just like, okay, should I try and um, you know get 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 uh, try and get a bunch into one video or not? So moving there, that's not gonna work. But the least we can do is get you down down here, nice and safe. And just oh, you can't. Okay, you can't see them. That's why. That's fine. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's get over here. I want to get everyone nice and close. Um, the the guys with assault rifles will be shooting from up here, and then um, watch. Thank you. Go, th those with shotguns definitely need to kind of just get down. Stepping off. If I could put it in a very very cheesy way, uh, over here. Location. And then our our technical. Let's get you up here. It's actually a good thing we've got a technical, we can kind of just blow blow people up to begin with, so not too, not worry too much about what's going to go on, but um, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, a rocket's definitely not the best idea here. Um, the other thing is that they're actually quite, like, quite, uh, how do I want to say it? They're moving quite far away from us, which is quite irritating. So, let's get you over here. Orders confirmed. We're, we're, we're going to... hostiles grouped over here. Hmm. Don't really want to activate everything in one go. Eyes on the prize. Um, but what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make them like see us flank. And then and then and then hopefully we'll be able to jump straight into action over there. So let's get you over here. Confirmed. Affirmative. Covering now. And then we'll get you over here. Orders confirmed, moving out. We've got a lot of people with shotguns. Kind of, kind of surprising, to be honest. Uh, Position confirmed. Got it covered. And uh, another one with a shotgun, eh? Moving out. I'm not gonna have the greatest aim. Do you realize that? Of course, I realize that. I'm the I'm on the, move. the guy actually playing the game. Scanning. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Maybe see guy. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're visible here. Yeah, well, yeah, that's exactly why I put you there. Alright, couple of shotgun hits, and... Oh! Alright, pretty good. Oh! Goodbye, drone. That was a pretty good setup. So... We should be able to... How am I going to deal with that guy? Let me just... Wow, he can actually... That's amazing. I kind of just want to pop him with a grenade. Can you actually see him from there? Yes, you can. Watch it, 28. Nah. Um, 
God, I don't want to use a grenade on you. This is probably the silliest first world problem I'm having right now. Um, let's get you over here. Oh, no problem, I think I just activated the other mob. This could be a problem. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. Amen, Shen. Well, how bad could this be? I suppose on the bright side, we don't actually like. Well, the face will move. Are they going to move towards us? Yeah, apparently not. Okay. Um, that makes things a bit easier. We'll just. Oh, that is unsteady as hell. Should be done though. No comment. This guy gets a frag. We, we, we can't waste two grenades on him, on him now. Alright, and then. Flashbang. Flashbang. Oh, yes, please. Definitely, definitely need to puff, puff a prophecy drill or two after all that. For damage, for damage, we'll take that. Kind of need to be pushing forward a bit. Um, the only problem is that, yeah, the only problem is that we, well, we may as well put two people in low cover. Though it's probably not the healthiest option. Um, what else can we do? Uh, we can have a shotgun and then can we cover over there. You can see them, but I mean, you've got a shotgun, so you're not going to be able to do much. And you can't, re you, you can't really move any closer, otherwise the faces are going to go right up towards you. So we really can't do anything unless, um, can we? We can. Is it worth it? Well, it's the officer, so we should. And, um... And then at least that will, that will make deciding what you do on your next turn a bit easier, so... Uh, shoot the faceless that's not disoriented, please. Or miss, um, sure. Wait for them could happen. So three of them designed to it, so um, we should be able to like get down and maybe flame blow one of the faceless. Hi, okay. So he yellow moved, that's fine. Um, and then. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for flashbangs, I suppose. Okay, so that's a yellow move. They're actually spread apart, which makes things a little more difficult, to be honest, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, what can you do? Well, can you flank this guy? You can. But you, you've only got a shotgun. So that kind of makes things a bit difficult. So let's get you up here for this. Uh... You may as well pick up the loot while you can, and then the give that guy a nice big block in the face. Could be worse, I suppose. Um, does anyone have a smoke grenade? Okay, you've got a flamethrower. We're certainly really gonna get one of them. Um, let's get you up here. Alright, I'll go. And then maybe I can get my technical up. Kennedy, let's get you up here. Here I come. Let's. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get either. Oh well, that's a bummer. And I. <laughs> okay. Well, that one's getting a flame bar then. Burnamite. I'll take that. All right. Um, now shotguns on the other faceless. Sixty-nine. Of course, it's sixty-nine. You gotta take that hit. I mean, well, okay. Let's not. Let's try not to be too crude here. Um, we've got another guy with the shotgun. That's great. Let's get you over here. Shoot the faceless Whatever from behind. And bam. That's how they like to roll. Cash me that. How about that? I don't, I don't know where that meme came from. 
The only thing I like distinctly remember was that there was, um, and I'm not even sure if they were related, but there was like a there was like a very white girl who was on a American show of some kind, and um, and she was she was like you know she's like acting really black, and then um, but but seems like, and then um, it was basically like other people are saying. And then basically, like, um, like the, she basically had a bunch of um, people yelling at her, and because of her opinions or something, and then she was like retorting with him with like um, one of her retorts was apparently cash me aside, how about that or something, and um, it was so it was so weird, I gotta tell you, but um, I don't remember the specific details of it, so I'm not, I'm not gonna really hear it too much, but um, if that guy could get a flashbang, that would be nice. Off you go, Jamie. And then, and then we'll start aggressively moving people out because we can. And then, uh, we'll, yep, yeah, no, yes, no, maybe let's get you up here. And then, oh, another shotgun. Well, isn't that nice? Let's get you up here. Oh, and our technical, of course. Come on, Kate. Hut, 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 hut. I actually wonder where the hut hut thing came from when they were, you know, because um, if you do, if you don't, if you don't, if you haven't watched enough like things, you'll notice like the hut hut is like a military thing. It's like when you want, it's like when you want um, it's like it's one of those things that like army officers or generals say when they they're like hut hike that kind of thing. Um, no, I don't actually know how or in what order they say it. But for now, we'll just take this guy out and then uh, we'll finish our mission. What'd you expect? Positive nice. confirmation. Area secured. There we go. Status so confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right. Well, there's not much to be said about that except we're um, well, I suppose it is something. But um, it's nice to have Kate Kennedy back. We definitely need a technical on our team because um, and uh, so we do need like a new rookie to um replace our grenadier and that we lost. On the last mission or two missions ago? Pretty sure it's two, no, two missions ago. And, um, but otherwise, I think we still have, we're still having a relatively healthy, relatively able team that, um, can at least fulfill a bunch of missions out there. But of course, um, I'm sort of cheating a little, uh, by using, um, in Intel boosters, but, uh, I think it's all kind of just like, you know, like, like I said before, you know, kind of just like an initial investment to kind of just really get our run run the snowball from um from here on onwards so um I, the, the other thing that i sort of need to think about is whether some of the rewards are worth it it's like um with that one about the vip you only get intel if you capture the vip so um obviously you, you need to go in with a large enough team but, easy out there, but, but if but if you but if it's like if it feels like you can't actually get the VIP, then it's like, well, you know, why, 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 why bother doing it at all? You know, just to maybe get some ability. Hello, side offense. Probably gonna sell that. We're gonna need that. We don't need that too much. And then, um, yeah, faceless, render faceless, and uh, we've got we've got an officer on top here as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, now, now that's the team that just finished off, and the reason I had them going was because um. I had a neutralized target. Uh, this I think this was the one. Have the workstation jailbreak, and then smash and grab. Smash and grab is ready to go. So I'll just prep the team to go here. Of course. Course for the Western European Ward. Of course, you probably notice quickly that it's a VIP capture mission. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we've got a team. May as well put the team. Just let me figure out if we need to make any tweaks. Alright, there we go, Team Delta. Now, uh, now I've started Team Delta with, uh, who was initially only our specialist here. Now I've got added a technical and a sharpshooter. This gunner is actually from another squad, so it's kind of just like not gonna happen for now because I do have one spare gunner that's kind of like up there, like, um, but at the moment, yeah, Ella, so, but, um, basically, um, a Team Gamma needs a gunner, so she's gonna go in there instead. So for now, we'll have to make do with this lot, but, Thankfully, we've got a gunner with center mass and with flush, so hopefully that should be a bit useful. I also got a rookie along for the right, which will no doubt uh, be good for leveling him up. He's got high aim, so he's going to be a shooty shooty rookie, and um, ho and hopefully maybe a ranger. But I feel like maybe I should like bring the other rookie, which has like 58 aim, but this rookie in particular has got 67, so which is actually pretty. Oh, what the I just? Ah, why do I do this to myself? 
Alright, just quickly now, because everyone's got all this stuff, Sam and our rookie, what's the name? Lis uh, Lisbeth. Lisbeth. There we go. Okay, let's send them off. Now, of course my sharpshooter does not have a stock um, for his sniper rifle, so that basically means that um, I equipped him with a pistol so that he can kind of just move around with the rest, instead of kind of just like... Kind of just like climbing up to a tower and just hoping to get a shot, which is probably not going to happen. So, um, yeah, we've got we've got Team Gamma already raring to go with the Smash and Grab, so this is where I'll wrap up this video as always. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, and as always, have a good one.